Welcome to the Western States Metal Roofing Channel. Ready to start your project? Save 15 to 50% on your materials with our manufacturer direct pricing. Details in the description below. One of the biggest problems on a metal roofing installation is incorrectly fastening the screws. Fastening the screws correctly on your metal roof could be the difference between a roof that is weather tight or one that leaks. Your roof will have thousands of screw penetrations. Quite often, screws are not installed straight, or over tightened, or under tightened. When this happens, it creates leak points at these screw penetrations. In this video, we will cover the incorrect and correct way to fasten a metal roof, removing the metal shavings, using the correct tools, pre-drilling screw holes, and chalk lines. For a downloadable guide of this content, visit our Learning Center, details in the description below. The screws that you will be using will have a rubber washer with a metal cap. The rubber washer is just a bit smaller than the metal cap. You want to tighten the washer so that it spreads to the edge of the metal cap and not past the metal cap. When you tighten the screw, it's critical that you don't drive it too far. It's a natural reaction to exert too much pressure and tighten the screw as much as possible. This will overcompress the washer by expanding it too much and therefore breaking the washer. If this happens, back out the screw to relieve some of the pressure. It's also just as easy to under tighten the screw. The easiest way to determine if the screw is too loose is to see if you can spin the washer. If the washer spins, then the screw is too loose and should be retightened. You will develop a feel for fastening the metal panels correctly. Screws should always be installed straight and not sideways. Screws that are installed sideways or tilted will not permit the rubber washer to seal correctly. This will create a possible leak point. If you notice this has happened, then back out the screw and redo it so that the screw is straight. Swarf removal. Swarf is metal shavings and chips that are caused by cutting and drilling roof panels. These fragments tend to rust quickly if they are not removed from the roof in a timely manner. Leaving swarf on the panels after drilling will cause red corrosion spots to form and permanently stain the roof. This can and does happen, even overnight. Brush or bloom clean the swarf with a soft brush to remove all of the metal shavings before they rust. Use a screw gun to fasten metal roofing panels. Using the right tools is an essential step to prevent maintenance issues and roof failures. You must fit the tool to the fastener. You need an actual screw gun and not a drill or an impact driver. When you use a drill and let go of the trigger, it does not disengage. You have to release the trigger at the correct moment or the screws will be overdriven, damaging the washers and possibly the panels. Using an impact gun to fasten screws is the single biggest cause of screw failures. Use an actual screw gun with an adjustable clutch and a depth sensing control feature. Screw guns are designed so that you can adjust the torque, which will help eliminate over tightening of the screws. In addition, Use a variable speed screw gun, which will permit you to change the speed. Match the speed of the drill to the substrate or screw type. Use a setting of 2500 RPM for wood and steel substrates that are less than a quarter inch thick. Use a setting of 2000 RPM for steel substrates that are a quarter inch thick and heavier, and a setting of 1000 RPM to 2000 RPM for 304 stainless steel screws. If you're not a metal roofing contractor and don't own a screw gun, then the next best option is a variable speed adjustable driver. Pre-drilling. If you were to ask two installers whether they pre-drill metal roofing sheets prior to installation, you would likely get two completely different answers. The screws that are used to attach the metal roofing are self-drilling screws. This means that the screw will drill its own hole through the metal roofing panel and into the metal or wood substrate. Technically, you don't need to pre-drill the holes. However, that doesn't mean that it's not a good idea. It saves time and produces a better installation. When not to pre-drill metal roofing panels. If the metal roofing panels are being installed over metal purlins, if you choose to pre-drill, it's critical that your screw holes don't miss the metal purlin. The spacing of the purlins might make it tricky to pre-drill the sheeting in advance. If you drill a hole in the wrong location, there is no way to fix the mistake. When you should consider pre-drilling the sheeting. If you are attaching to a plywood substrate, 
If you drill a hole in the wrong location, it's only a minor problem as the entire roof is covered in wood. You can simply put a screw through the hole to solve the mistake. The three main advantages of pre-drilling metal roofing. It lessens the likelihood of the screws being installed at an angle because the pre-drilled hole will help guide the screw into the substrate. Pre-drilling leads to straight screw lines at perfectly spaced intervals. You will have the ability to run a chalk line at measured intervals. This keeps your screw lines straight and spaced out correctly. Save time by applying chalk line and pre-drilling multiple panels that are stacked. In addition, you only have to clean off the chalk line once, which surprisingly is more time consuming than you would think. How to pre-drill the metal roofing panels. Stack as many panels as you can while allowing the drill to reach all the sheets without drilling at an angle. The amount of sheets varies depending upon the panel profile. Snap a chalk line. A chalk line will keep your screw lines straight and spaced at the correct intervals. If you are installing the metal roofing over metal purlins, it will ensure that you fasten the screw in the center of the purlin. Using the correct color chalk and cleaning it off of the metal panels is an important step that most people overlook. Do not use red chalk. The chalk will be difficult to clean off the metal roofing panels, especially if you have a light colored roof. Use a blue or white colored chalk instead. Wipe off with a rag after the installation. Trying to wash the chalk off will not work as well as wiping it down with a rag. If you found this video helpful, please support our channel by giving us a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content.